Hey everyone, KiwiKing77 here from acsyndicate.net here to do a video showing you how to root your Samsung Epic 4G Touch from Sprint when it has been updated to Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, first of all, we're going to want to double check and make sure we are on Ice Cream Sandwich. Go ahead and go down to Settings, scroll down, go to About Phone, and under Build Number you should see FF18 right there. Under build number, you should see it also under baseband version FF18, Android 4.0.4. Uh, that would be the official update that has just come out today, the 12th. So I do have a video showing you how to update it from stock gingerbread as well. So if you want to watch that, I can link to it. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. So we're going to need to root it. Uh, first thing uh, you can do is actually, uh, we don't need to put the phone in USB debugging mode. We're going to need to get into download mode in a second. But go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. And once you click on the link, it will take you to this website. First of all, big thanks to my friend SF Hub. Big shout out to him. Be sure to thank him for this, putting this together for us. Um, this would be how to root uh, your Epic 4G Touch on FF18 Ice Cream Sandwich. So, first of all, we're going to need to make sure you have drivers installed in your PC. So scroll down and you will see right here, you'll see number one, install the drivers. So go ahead and click on this. Um, if you have not downloaded and installed these drivers right here, um, that would be the first step. So make sure you have those installed on your PC. Next, what we're going to need to do is download the preserve user data option. So you will see one that's preserved. If you do want a factory reset when you root your phone, you can go ahead and use the one that resets data. Uh, but anyways, uh, select the one that says preserve user data, download it from one of these mirrors. So click and download it. It'll take a bit of time to download. It's kind of a big file, but once downloaded, it will actually look very similar to this right here. It's actually an EXE file. Before we do uh, double click on it, what I'm gonna recommend us doing is going to our desktop actually and making a new folder. So just go ahead and hit new folder. And you can call it something like ICS root if you want. You can call it whatever you want, it does not matter. So you'll see I have it ICS root right there. Now what we can do is double click on this file right here, this EXE file, double click on it and hit run. Um, and you'll see it's a self-extracting archive. I'm using 7-Zip for this. Um, if you want 7-Zip, I can post a download for that as well. But uh, what you're gonna need to do is click on this dot, dot, dot right here and find that ICS root folder we just put on our desktop. So find ICS root right there and hit OK. So then it navigates to that and hit extract. What it's gonna do is basically ex automatically extract all of the files you need into that one folder. So it, it, it's actually making it very easy. SF Hub has done a great job at making this as easy as possible at, for us. So as I said, be sure to thank him. Uh, but let it do its thing. All right, and once done extracting, you will see in that ICS root folder, it has files in it. Double click on that folder, and inside you will see Odin OC. So you'll see Odin one click, double click on that folder, and here we go. So here is basically our Odin one click application that's gonna root our device for us. Right click on it and hit run as administrator. So hit run as administrator, it's gonna go ahead and ask for user account control, hit yes and then it will open up our Odin One Click. So here is our Odin One Click. It, it will do everything for you. You don't have to put any files anywhere. It's actually quite easy. So before we do get into this, we have to get our phone set up, of course. So our PC is all set up. Now what we need to do with our device is go ahead and power it off. So grab your Epic 4G Touch and hit power off and let it shut down. And once your phone has fully powered off, we're going to need to get into download mode or Odin mode, one or the other, um, and go ahead and press and hold volume down and power button at the same time to do so. So press and hold both of them, keep it held down, and then it should bring up this screen. Now just press volume up to continue. So volume up to continue, you are now in download mode or Odin mode, whatever you wanna call it. Once uh, you are on the screen, you can actually plug your phone into your PC. So go ahead and plug your Epic 4G Touch into your PC. Once plugged in, your uh, PC could be installing drivers if you just installed those new drivers. I've already had them, but once let the drivers install if that's what it's doing. Um, you should see a yellow box right here. It should say COM and then a number. It does not matter what that number is. Uh, but yeah, so once it says that, it basically lets you know Odin recognizes your phone and you are ready to go. So once you see this yellow box, your phone's plugged in, in download mode, go ahead and hit this start button. So go ahead and hit start. What it's going to do is basically install the stock rooted 
uh, ROM from Ice Cream Sandwich FF18 on your device and it's not going to wipe any data at all. So it will take a bit of time though, so you're gonna have to be patient with it as it's doing basically a full reinstall of the ROM with it being rooted. Uh, I do want to talk a little bit a little bit about Odin though. If you do run into any problems at all, generally it's probably due to the cable. Uh, make sure you try a different cable. I have the best luck with BlackBerry cables. I'm actually using an HTC one at the moment and that one works fine. So if you do run into any, any issues with Odin troubleshooting is try a different cable, try different USB ports, try reinstalling drivers on your PC. Um, and that's, that's really about it for now. Um, that's pretty much all the troubleshooting steps, but uh, on your device, you should see a blue progress bar right there, lets you know how far it is, and a green progress bar in Odin. So you will see on your phone that uh, you got a progress bar going. It's gonna take a bit of time. I'll be back once it's almost done. All right, and as you can see, it is just finishing up. Usually it finishes up with the modem. Modem sometimes does take a little bit of time to flash. If this takes any longer than, let's say 15 minutes, something went wrong, if it's just sitting on a certain screen and progress isn't moving, something probably went wrong. Again, try all of those troubleshooting steps that I did mention earlier. And you will see it says reset, pass, it will automatically reboot your device. Once it says pass, you can actually unplug your device, so uh, don't worry about leaving it plugged in now, but you will see it will automatically reboot your phone. Um, uh, let's go ahead and go to our phones now. All right, and as you can see, it says Android is upgrading. As I said, you can unplug your device. You don't need to leave it plugged in. And here we go, so boot it on up just fine. You will see everything is the exact same. No data should be lost whatsoever, unless you obviously use the reset user data option. First of all, let's go to settings, about phone, and again, still FF18, both of them FF18. Uh, what we can do is go to our app drawer, and inside our app drawer, you should see an application called super user right there. So you will see this super user application. Just because it's there, it does not mean you're rooted. Uh, if you have a, sp a special uh, root application that you wanna use to test it out, you can. Otherwise, you can actually download an application from the Play Store called Root Checker. I believe it's just called Root Check. Let's go ahead and look that up. So it's from Joey Krim. You'll see Root Checker right there. So go ahead and install that application. Shouldn't take too long. I am on 3G, so it might take a bit of time. But yeah, so you'll see it's installing. Uh, what this is going to do is actually double check and make sure that your phone is fully rooted. Just because you have super user does not mean you are rooted. But anyways, let's go ahead and go to the root check application and hit agree. And there we go. So let's hit verify root access and hit allow super user permissions. And there we go. It says congratulations. This device has root access, full root access, uh, and there we have it. So that would be about it. So that would be how to root your uh, Samsung Epic 4G Touch on Ice Cream Sandwich FF18. If you have any problems, any questions, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. Be sure to leave a comment. Let us know if this worked for you, which it should. Um, I will be doing an updated video on how to install Clockwork Mod. You're going to want to watch that because it's uh, it's going to be a little bit different. You're going to have to be careful as Ice Cream Sandwich Recovery has some issues. So be sure to stay tuned for that video uh, when it comes to Clockwork Mod and such. I'll be doing an updated one very soon. I'll probably do an updated video on Hotspot as well as some users were having issues with the old one. So there we have it. So other than that, that's really about it. That's all I wanted to go over. Uh, if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook. Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.